Hi everyone, Talara here, and welcome back to Inquisition. After speaking with Morgan and learning more about the Alluvians and Corypheus's next steps, we are back here at the War Table, where that will probably be our next main quest, of course, is to go find Corypheus in the Arbor it Wilds. Unusual. Is he always so blunt? Okay. <laughs> yes. Excuse you guys for interrupting me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> but before we do that, we're going to check in on all the quests um, that we had our companions doing in the meantime. So first up was Pursue Marquis Buffon, Inquisitor. The Grey Wardens fought their way through the mountains. The demons were savage, but the Grey Wardens held them off with great determination. As a result, we have located Marquis Buffon's secret stronghold deep in the Gamorden Peaks. The Grey Wardens continue to fight bravely, but they have suffered many losses. I recommend deploying them with care, lest we lose them entirely. Okay. Looks like we got the follow-up quest now. Defeat Marquis Buffon. Inquisitor, we have Marquis Ephaloche Buffon trapped in her fortress in the Gamorden Peaks and are preparing to make a final assault. While we might earlier have ignored her transgressions in light of the greater threat to the world, it is good that we did not. Marquis Buffon's crimes go well beyond smuggling or illegal mining, and she has an ally in Lady Jeanette Lagasp, who has come are with venatory mages... As ready as they can be. We're asking a lot of them. Are you serious? Guys, second time today interrupting me. Good lord. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Lady Jeanette has come with Venatory mages to defend the Marquis. The Wardens have concerns about the Venatory using blood magic or their ties to Curfius to influence their minds, but are prepared to follow your orders. We cannot delay for long as demons in the mountains continue to harass our flanks. Please send your orders. So they are making it very clear that we should be careful with the Grey Wardens here. They said on the last quest to deploy them sparingly. Now the Wardens themselves have concerns, so... Um, I think we're going to go with Liliana's suggestion. If my scouts can find an alternate entrance, the Venatori may not have time to affect the Wardens. I think we need to protect the Wardens as much as we can. We don't want them holding out for long periods or just charging the front gate, so... An alternate entrance sounds good. We'll send Liliana to do that. Next up is some political alliances we've been working on. The Tybalt family is becoming a clear favorite in the war of station that is ongoing between the noble houses. The Bordelons have all but ceased to exist socially, and many are scrabbling for traditional alliances. Lady Eustace Richelieu has emerged as a strong voice at court and is suggesting several arranged marriages to solidify ties, and presumably the standing of her house as arbiter and matchmaker. Looks like this one has a follow-up too, so we may as well continue. There is a contender to rival the alliance with the Tybalts. Lady Richelieu sent the following letter. The de Rosiers are a stubborn threat. The most efficient way to deal with them is to nullify with social alliance. But the only pairing of import is unavailable because the Tybalt daughter has betrothed herself elsewhere. How dare she? She has the luxury of such a wasteful pairing because of the Inquisition bearing the weight in this partnership. Our hands are tied. You face the difficult task of attacking the status of Lord de Rosier unless you were to, man that t were to demand that task of the Tybalts. If their investment were more taxing, they would be more inclined to an arranged match for the daughter. And that is a well-respected currency in Orlais. So, I don't know a whole lot about, you know, politics and the Inquisitor isn't exactly well known in political circles, so I am very much content to just say, Josephine, you handle this, do what you think is best, off you go. So she says, I cannot claim it will be popular, but it would hardly be unusual for an allied partner to ask for such a concession, such as a way of nobility. So, Inquisitor. go for it, Josephine. Josephine, get us some more allies. And then the final quest was actually a personal favor for Liliana. She wanted to contact the hero of Ferelden, and the report is ready. Uh, it says, Sister Liliana, the hero of Ferelden, answered our messages. He left a letter for the Inquisitor and another to be delivered privately. He also sent goods from his travels that might be of use. We have included them in this missive. Awesome! Okay, so before we select a new quest, I want to back out and see if we can read the hero's letter. Here we are, a letter from the hero of Ferelden, to her worship Inquisitor Adar. I appreciate your warning regarding Corypheus. Fortunately, my own search has taken me out of the area where the supposed magister is operating, and while I have encountered challenges of my own, they were not involved they have not involved any weakness related to my Great Warden abilities. As I have little useful information to offer, please accept the accompanying gifts instead. 
If in my quest I find anything that may be of use to you in your fight against Scorypheus, I will send it to you immediately. I have also included a note of a personal nature for Liliana. I was not there for the death of Divine Justinia, but I know it will have hurt her terribly. While her wits and her skill are amazing, Liliana's greatest strength lies in her faith, and to have Justinia die strikes at her very core. I beg you, if she is faltering, help her find her way back into the light. Yours, Warden Commander Tabris of Ferelden. Interesting. I didn't think the hero of Ferelden still kept the title of Warden Commander of, of Ferelden. I thought he left that behind, but perhaps it's a title that you just always have. Either way, very cool to actually hear from him. And now I want to run up and speak to Liliana real quick, see if she got her letter and see if she has uh, anything to say about it. A message from Divine Justinia. Oh, okay. So Liliana got lots of mail today. She also got mail from Divine Justinia, who's dead. Are you all right? That's a shock. You all right reading it? Thank you for the concern, Inquisitor. But I am. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the waking sea. There is something hidden there. What will you find? You know what you're looking for? The Divine was a powerful woman who used her position to obtain all sorts of things. Whatever she hid in Valence would very likely benefit the Inquisition and must be kept from falling into the wrong hands. If I'm lucky, she will have instructions for me. Why Valence? Why hide things in Valence? What's so special about it? Justinia was revered mother at the Chantry there for many years before she became the Divine. It is a place that holds great meaning for her. Okay, well, whatever you need. I'll help in whatever way I can. Wonderful. I was hoping you would agree to come with me to Valence. One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. Okay, well, that sounds interesting. And obviously I love Liliana, so I'll do whatever I can to help. I vote we go do that right now, however, let's talk to her again and see if she has any dialogue about the, the Hero of Ferelden's letter. I received oh. a note from the Hero of Ferelden. <laughs> he misses me. I very much needed to know he was still out there fighting to be with me. Thank you. It is a great relief, and I appreciate you allowing me to send the messenger. Now, can I help you with anything? Well, I'm very glad that you got the letter from the hero Ferelden, even though you kind of you glitched out a little bit there and went into a floating seat. But hey, okay, so Liliana really did have a big mail day. Um, letter from Justinia, letter from her hero boyfriend. And okay, so I, I like I said, I think I want to go to Valence right now and do this side quest because I'm very interested in what the former divine may have left behind for Liliana so let's head back to the war table see if we can head to Valence alright before we do that actually we Colin doesn't have a mission, so we may as well just pick a random one for him. Uh, let's do this one. New to the crew, a young hopeful. A note in Any careful work? handwriting. Nothing yet. Are you serious, guys? Third time today with the interruptions. <laughs> a note in careful handwriting from the youth who recently arrived. To the Inquisition. I found bandits stalking your patrols. They are the usual kind, and I can show your people where they are. And I've tried to stop them, but they have swords, and I don't. If you have extra, I will help. I want to help from Deeth Sutherland. The Colin says, if the boy knows where they are, out outfit him. It is a minor threat. All right. So you do that, Colin. And now, where is Valance? They said it's up here by the Waking Sea. But I don't see it. Get it? See? I'll show myself out. Okay. 
Okay, so it looks like this is actually uh, a location we just get to directly from the world map. So here, a letter written by Divine Justinia and posthumously delivered to Liliana directed Liliana to visit Valence, a small village on the Waking Sea. The Divine left something in the Chantry that Liliana must see. Let's head there. Just as I remember it. You've been here before? You didn't tell me you'd been here before. The hero of Ferelden and I came here after the Blight to visit Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. It's a peaceful little chantry. It's peaceful here. You must have good memories of this place. It was a place of comfort. It is good to see it still untouched by Corypheus. Liliana, is that you? Sister Natalie, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No, I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? My lady... Forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. Uh, I'd rather not be recognized, to be honest. I wish more people would fail to recognize me. Oh, uh... I see. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Justinia's letter came with instructions for me. They were a little cryptic. Always remember that faith sprung from a barren branch, that light has no fear of darkness. Above all, that strength lives in an open heart. She must be hinting at something in here. Let's look around. Okay. Do they still sing verses from the benedictions every Friday? That canticle was Justinia's favorite. Yes, of course. We'd never give up the traditions of a most beloved divine. That is lovely to hear. Okay. Stare up at the breach sometime. My goodness, they have lots to talk about. I mean, not necessarily a conversation for us to get involved in. I need to put my detective hat on. When the sun rises through it, and see if we can solve these clues. There's also something hidden here. Because my radar is going off. I think it should be right here. Huh. What the heck? <laughs> Just everything is lighting up and I... I'm not actually finding anything to investigate. Okay, maybe we'll just focus on the clues because clearly this isn't helping us. Okay. Solve the clue, above all, that strength lives in an open heart, light has no fear of darkness, and always remember that faith sprung from a barren branch. So, it probably has something to do with, like, the paintings and stuff in here. I mean, that's a flower. Yeah, here we go. Hidden mechanism. That was the, the faith from the branch thing. Strength lives in an open heart, and light has no fear of darkness. Keep looking at these paintings. Mm, hurt. Light and darkness. They're just in here chatting. I'm sure they have a lot to catch up on. Oh, here we go. Open hurt, perhaps? Yeah. Second hidden mechanism. And then a third one. Light has no fear of darkness. Hmm. Doubt is easy. It takes courage to trust. This one, maybe? Nope. Light has no fear of darkness. Hmm. This last one is stumping me. Let's 
take another look at these out here. Nothing's really giving me light and darkness vibes. Hey, you guys trying to help or are you just leaving it all to me? <laughs> Y'all are the uh, Chantry faithful here. I would think you guys would be able to help out a little bit. Kind of leading me to all these candles, perhaps? Nope. It's just totally throwing me off. Alright, let's just click on all of them. This one? No. This one? No. <laughs> what the heck? I can't figure out this last, last clue. I was right here behind this fire pit. Okay. That clue was a little bit more literal. It wasn't about the paintings. Ooh. Like we, we sure did. This opened, I think. Ooh. A secret mural. Ooh, with a secret door. What's this? <gasps> uh oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Whoa, well played. Good old Liliana was playing you the whole time. That's why she gave us that look when she hung, uh, hugged Natalie. Something so simple. And you. Oh, and that's why she was chatting with her. Liliana is so smart. Line from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickle with burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Uh, who is Grand Cleric Victoire? Who is this Grand Cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. What were your plans? I want to know what this Grand Cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thedas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Stop us? You must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. Good. We know our enemy. Good work. We know the name of our enemy. That's half the battle won. Exactly. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. Uh, I mean, we could kill her, but... This is a sacred place to Liliana. She's literally in a chantry. I don't know if we should murder this chick. I mean, we're gonna get the loot anyway, so even if she sees this hidden chamber, I don't know. If it's, you know, really gonna do anything. I say just let her go. We don't have to kill her. No. I must protect the Inquisition. She is an enemy. I see what you've become. The righteous stand before. And the maker shall guide them. Okay, guess she didn't take my words to heart. <laughs> I was kind of speechless there for a second. Liliana said, Shut up, Talara. I'm doing my thing. Uh, was there a hidden bottom or something? Check again. Perhaps the box itself is a puzzle. She seemed a puzzling sort. No, 
It's just... It's just an empty box. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... She's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach. But it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but my conscience that bore the consequences. What she said in the Fade? She apologized in the Fade. She said she failed you. This is what she meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. You stop torturing yourself. You need to let it go. Then you have to let it go. Let her go. You don't owe her anything anymore. This? Now? After everything you've said and done? What is that I'm supposed to mean? Dear Natalie, I called a sister once, but I couldn't risk leaving her alive. Don't tell me to let it all go after all I've sacrificed to get here. I didn't tell you to kill Natalie. I told you not to kill her. Oh, Liliana. Justine tried to save me, but all it's done is made me realize I don't need saving. There is work to be done. I'll see you back at Skyhold. Liliana is such an interesting character. I genuinely really like her a lot. Um... She's one of my favorite characters. Obviously, I romanced her during our playthrough of Dragon Age Origins. She's like... Oh, man. Literally, we can't loot because my inventory's full. Okay, one second. <laughs> if we had to kill Natalie, I want to make sure that we at least get something out of it. So time to get rid of some junk. All right, now can we pick it up? There we go. Perfect. Uh, anyway, as I was saying about Liliana, she's such an interesting character because she has both light and dark within her. She's a very nuanced character. Um, she can be very caring. She has a big heart. She can be thoughtful and a, a great friend. But at the same time, she can also be cunning and ruthless and she almost balances on the dagger's edge of falling fully into one of those categories. I know there's the whole process of, like, hardening characters and softening characters, depending on your choices. And, uh, for me personally, I, I always like a more soft Liliana, but the way she just acted there, I don't, I don't know what that means. It makes me think that perhaps she's gonna be hard now and she's gonna be ruthless and, um lean into that other side of her, which is not necessarily what I want. So let's head back to Skyhold now. I want to check in with her. Maybe if she's taken some time to sort of digest what just happened. Maybe she's calmed down a little bit. I, I don't know. Let's let's go say hello. Grand Cleric Victoire wishes to make an enemy of the Inquisition. I'll give her what she wants. Doesn't Victoire have a young cousin? Lord Firmin? She dotes on him. Yes, mistress. I believe that is so. Good. Have him collected. He shall be an honored guest, and make sure the Grand Cleric hears about it. At your command. Is everything all right? Is everything under control? Perfect. The Grand Cleric and others like her will fall in line soon enough. You see, when I'm ruthless, it gets us where we need to be. It's something to be proud of. Why fix it? How funny that her regret is what finally puts my own to rest. I chose to become her left hand, knowing what it meant. It was my weakness that stopped me from fully committing to my task. It wasn't weakness. You have a good heart. It's not a weakness. You are too kind, Inquisitor. Call it what it is. The Inquisition needs me, just as the Divine did, to do what no one else dares. Death and deception are my trade. It is what I am. It is what I always will be. Oh, man. Okay, that was not the ideal outcome. The thing that I love about these games is that 
you know, you can play them with a walkthrough and pick all the perfect choices to get your perfect world state. But for me, I kind of just like going with my gut and making decisions in real time. And clearly something we did or said has convinced Liliana that she needs to remain hardened and ruthless. And it's silly because these characters aren't even real, but I actually feel a little guilty about it. That's that's not the Liliana that I love. I like the soft Liliana who can be heard when she needs to be, but also knows how to be caring. And I'm afraid we've we've tipped her over the edge here. So Varric knew where the champion was all along. <laughs> That's the last time we sent Cassandra to interrogate. See, that's the Liliana I like, the cheerful one, but... I'll leave you to your work. I think she's going to lean into her assassin tactical side now, and, uh... Ugh, I'm, I'm kind of upset about that. I mean... She still has the hero of Ferelden. Perhaps when he returns, he'll be able to soften her up a little bit where, where we were not able to do so, but, uh... That's it, we've made our choices, and at the very least, we've got a badass spy master assassin on our side, so, you know, I'll take it. <laughs> Gotta make the best of, of the situation, I suppose. In the meantime, I'm gonna head back to the war table, because not only did we obviously do Liliana's companion quest then, we have a few other companion quests we need to do, and the one I want to do most urgently, if you will, is Blackwalls, because he has literally up and left us at this point. He completely ditched us, and we need to go try to track him down. Uh, word is, is that he may be attending an execution in Val Royo, I believe it was. So let's go there and see if we can convince him to come back. So I think it was in Val Royo. Perhaps I should have just went to the world map. Yeah, okay. Hang on. Back and out. Valroyo. Oh, and we also had the quest with Josephine, also in Valroyo. Okay, so we have two companion quests we can do in Valroyo. Revelations and of somewhat fallen fortune. Alright. To Valroyo. Alright, here we are in Val Royo. It is raining today, but it looks like we're right on time for the execution. Cyril Mornay, for your crimes against the Empire of Orlais. For the murders of General Vincent Callier, Lady Lorette Callier, their four children, and their retainers, you are sentenced to be hanged from the neck until dead. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Very well. Oh, this is grim. Look at all these people. I thought we were more civilized than this. Proceed. Stop! Oh. Well, there's Blackwall. This man is innocent of the crimes laid before him. Orders were given, and he followed them like any good soldier. He should not die for that mistake. Then find me the man who gave the order. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Blackwall! No, I am not Blackwall. I never was Blackwall. Warden Blackwall is dead. And has been for years. I assumed his name to hide <gasps> like a coward what? from who I really am. Oh, I didn't remember that. You, after all this time. It's over. I'm done hiding. I gave the order. The crime is mine. I am Tom Rainier. Oh, dear. Okay, well that changes everything. Uh, Blackwall is not a Grey Warden at all. But how is that even possible? He knew so much about the Grey Wardens and had like 
so much Grey Warden related dialogue. That was all just made up? Or I guess if he's been playing the part of a Grey Warden for the last few years. Maybe he picked some of it up. Wow. This is the thing about replaying the game after eight, nine years. It almost feels like a brand new game again, because I did not remember that plot twist at all. Can you believe it? Tom Rainier himself. What do you know of Rainier? You must know something about Rainier. I know what everyone knows. He'll hang for the massacre of a noble and his family. Where is this Rainier? Where did they take the prisoner? In the jail of the marketplace. If you've goodbyes to say, say them now. It's a damn mess, but believe you me, it'll be sorted out quick. Lots of people can't wait to see that man swing. Guess not. Wow, okay. So he's actually like a ruthless warlord? That's not good. Um, alright. Let's go speak to him in his cell. Hi, hello. I'm here to speak to, uh, Rainier, formerly the Warden Blackwall. You in here, man? I didn't take Blackwall's life. I traded his death. He wanted me for the Wardens, but there was an ambush. Darkspawn. He was killed. I took his name to stop the world from losing a good man. But a good man, the man he was, wouldn't have let another die in his place. Okay, so you lied to me. I called you a friend. I trusted you. You lied. You thought I was Blackwall. I didn't want to tell you otherwise. As Blackwall, I was something. I had a purpose. I could make amends. Why are you here? It's up to you. That depends on what you say. Don't you understand? I gave the order to kill Lord Callier, his entourage. And I lied to my men about what they were doing. When it came to light, I ran. Those men, my men, paid for my treason while I was pretending to be a better man. This is what I am. A murderer, a traitor, a monster. You're more than that, though, and I've seen that. I know you're more than what you say. Have some faith in yourself. Okay. I guess that's all we're gonna say to Blackwall right now. Yes. And we can ask him some more questions. So who- tell me more about the real Blackwall. I need to know about Blackwall. The real Black Wall. We met in a tavern when I was on the run. I was nothing. A waste of life. But he wanted to recruit me. We headed to Valshavan for the joining. The Black Wall insisted on making a stop along the way. An old ruin from one of the previous blights. He said it led to the deep roads. I was to go down alone, find a dark spawn, and fill a vial with its blood. When I returned, I found the warden ambushed by more of the creatures. He took a blow for me. He shouldn't have died. It should have been me. Maybe, but he didn't think so. Not saying I disagree. Blackwall clearly thought you were worth saving. No one should have died for me. He, he would have wanted me to carry on to Valshavan, I'm certain. But without Blackwall, there's no proof that I've been recruited. That I didn't kill him. I couldn't go to the wardens. But I couldn't just walk away. So, Rainier died. And Blackwall lived. Ah, okay. Well, so tell me more about Tom Rainier. Who were you before this mess? I was a captain in the Orlesian army. Well regarded, respected. 
But it wasn't enough. One mistake. One mistake and everything I worked for fell apart. So, tell me more about your crime. I need to know the details of what you did, who you killed, why. I betrayed the Empire and assassinated a general, all for gold. The man was General Vincent Callier. My employer was a chevalier, Robert Chapuy. Sir Robert believed that Grand Duke Gaspard was the rightful ruler of Orlais and would eventually take the throne. He thought that by eliminating one of Celine's loyal supporters, he might endear himself to the true Emperor. I can't say if Robert's plan would have worked. I didn't care. There was good coin offered, and I took it. By the time Sir Robert's involvement was uncovered, I was long gone. Of course, the Grand Duke disavowed any knowledge of the act and publicly condemned it. Robert killed himself. Poison in his wine. Another victim of the great game. Okay, well, this has given me a lot to think about. So, the way he set it up there on the on the stage made it sound like he just killed the dude and assumed his identity, which he kind of did, but he had some relation with the Grey Wardens. And he did live as a Grey Warden after that point, so... Not everything he told us was a lie, but a lot of it was, I guess. Alright, I have to go. That's all for now. So, the quest is now taking us to go speak with Cullen. Um, I guess he can provide some insight as to what we should do here. Oh, there he is, actually. He's already here. <laughs> uh, okay. Can you summarize it? Give me the overview. Looks like our friend was once a respected captain in the Imperial Orlesian Army. Before the Civil War, he was turned, persuaded to assassinate one of Selene's biggest supporters. He led a group of fiercely loyal men on this mission and told them nothing of it. His men took the fall for him. A few lucky ones, like Mornay, managed to escape. Thank you. This is helpful. Or at least educational. Don't blame yourself. We all made this mistake. <sighs> what do we do now? Black Wa Renier has accepted his fate, but you don't have to. We have resources. If he's released to us, you may pass judgment on him yourself. What would you do? If it were up to you, what would happen? What he did to the men under his command was unacceptable. He betrayed their trust, betrayed ours. I despise him. Yet he fought as a warden, joined the Inquisition, gave his blood for our cause. And the moment he shakes off his past, he turns around and owns up to it. Why? Yes, people change. He wanted to change. To prove that he'd really left his past behind, he had to face up to it. Saving Mornay the way he did took courage, I'll give him that. But I can't tell you what to do. Uh... I mean, yeah. I vote. Get him out. Have Rainier released to us. We must move quickly. We can explore our options back at Skyhold. Okay. So, we have an operation available now that can get Blackwall released from prison, and then he'll come into our care, and at that point... We can then pass judgment upon him. This has been a crazy day. Not only have we seen Liliana sort of embrace her dark side, we've also now learned all about Blackwall's true identity and his past crimes, and it is a lot to digest. So I'm gonna leave it here for the day, folks. Y'all can go think about everything that just happened <laughs> in today's episode. When we come back next time, we'll obviously um, learn more about Blackwall, aka Rainier, and potentially pass judgment on him. And then we have other companion quests to do as well. So this is just the tip of the iceberg of the drama, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys back here again really soon for another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition.